Anybody have any questions? Feel free to unmute yourself, put them in the chat. And either I did a good job or a bad job, Mike. I'm trying to come off mute. I was trying to come off mute. Uh, um, no, man, that's like just I, I think imagine like that's so much people are like in a bit of awe, Trevor, because one is like, you know, the over 30 syndicate would and what was I for what was the total number that you you've done both 32, 32 20 as of just a passive right and then 12 is an active and nine of those are with massive capital and and your current active deals now is so active deals I still all 12 are active I've got one they actually just uh hopefully it will it will close in the next three weeks um and that was my very first one and um, and then, you know, the other ones still have a ways to go. Um, and then on the passive one, I have had eight of my 20 go full cycle. Yeah. And a lot of people ask me, too, why do I have passive investment? So I want to talk a little bit about that. So while I think everything is wonderful that I'm doing with massive capital, I always encourage people to have some diversification in their portfolio, especially when you get a larger portfolio like myself. So massive capital is not doing storage. I wanted to do a storage investment. So I have some friends of mine that are doing one in Charlotte. I know the market. I wanted to get involved in Charlotte. So I made an investment. I also wanted to get involved in a medical investment. And so again, some friends of mine is actually a partner on two of our deals, Paul, and one of my mentors, David Taylor, they did a medical center up in Mesquite, Texas. So I often still have some passive investments for different asset categories or different geographic areas. Because again, geographic areas are super important. You don't want to do a deal for somebody in Tucson, Arizona, that's never been to Tucson, Arizona, other than to walk a property, right? You want the local strong boots on the ground. Yeah. And uh, the, uh, so that was, you know, the, the where I was going is like, every, you know, everybody, I imagine a lot of, you know, to me is like ooing and aahing around what you've done. And and a story like, hey, man, how many people would have quit after that first 18 months, right? After six months of searching, uh, six months of being in a deal, losing 75K, another six months of, of you know, with another thing. I mean, the perseverance and, and that, I mean, what what is it that kept you going and the belief, even though you were, uh, you know, had that, uh, those challenges and uh, obstacles that uh, happened? Yeah, so it was really interesting. So I believed in the concept, right? Um, we even go backwards further on my story. I was always interested in real estate, but I was terrified of toilets, tenants, and trash. So I never did the single family route. And always in the back of my mind, I thought, wow, I really, really should be involved in real estate, but I just don't know how to get there. And again, I did the toilets tent tried, then I did the no time, no money. I actually got a little bit of money. So I decided, okay, now's the time. Interestingly enough, for those of you that know Massive Capital, Sanjay, who's one of the partners of Massive, was actually one of my first um, mentors in the in my first person I invested with. It's kind of funny how life goes full cycle. Um, Mike and I became friends and tried to do a few deals together, but I wasn't cool enough to get on his deals. I'm only kidding. Um, but we tried to do a few. So it was super challenging. And so I knew the concept of it. And I just knew that, that again, it's super important. I don't know if anyone's ever read Sharon Lecter's book, Three Feet from Gold but I read it right in the middle of going about to give up. And it really talked about how important it is not to give up. You know, so many people give up three feet from gold and I was just driven. And, and again, I know some folks, I saw somebody screen their tenant. I mean, I was listening to Grant Cardone every, every, you know, 10 X and be obsessed or be average like four times a year because I wanted to give up. I really wanted to give up. Um, I can talk, my wife will hear me and I'll get in heck for this later, but she would say, when are you going to get a real job? Um, you know, cause 
that's what we're taught, right? Go get a real job. Go work for somebody else. Stay on the hamster wheel. Stay in the monop going around and around. And I just knew I couldn't do it. So, <laughs> and, and so and gonna... someone had asked a question. So so it, it's, it's a year-long program. Um, our goal is to look for partners. We're not necessarily looking for students. It's a big difference on our mastermind. We're looking for partners. And the way I like to look at it, just with myself, right? I look at massive capital as this ship. And when the students are the tide, and as the tide comes in, we can take down bigger and bigger and bigger deals. So there's a lot of ways that we can grow and be able to take on bigger deals. So again, currently, one of the deals that we're working on, um, it's, it's actually one of our mastermind students has been working on it for six months. It's Massive Capital's biggest deal. It's all hands on deck, but it's scary and exciting all at the same time, right? Because it's where we wanted to be. It's where we're here. Um, and again, I know there'll be another arrival and there'll be another level, but that was really what gave, gave me the power to go on. Um, and then I'm going to be honest, not wanting to disappoint my teammates. You know, I got some amazing teammates on this team and wanting to be a successful, you know, successful partner teammate with them and doing something just to make sure that you're there is huge. Yeah, yeah. And uh, the, uh, so I was also, uh, so I, I, I'm going to do one comparison as well. So how many uh, iFlies did you open, Trevor? Yeah, so I, I started working for iFly in 2000. I was with them for 18 years, and I opened 46 of our 80 locations in that year. 46. Um, yeah. 46. So you got, so, so, wait, so I was just getting, so 46. So you've got to do uh, another 14 deals. So you got as many deals as you as you opened iFlies. <laughs> so that's sure. that's on one of your goals, right? That's yeah. Sure. And uh, did you open the like some of the Ripley's, or you just operated them? As well? I just worked for them at the time. Yes, yeah. So I I I worked for Ripley's. I worked for a franchise location in Niagara Falls, um, and then I worked for Guinness World of Records, a franchise location in Niagara Falls, and then actually a corporate owned location in the Empire State Building in New York City. Um, and then I opened a couple of franchises in the US for them. And then I went over, they had their flagship in London. And I went over for six months and actually worked there, which was pretty cool. Yeah. And you know, it was interesting too. Um, similarities in the business model, which you would never think, but the similarities in the business model are we bought back some of our franchise locations that were underperforming. I refer to them as mom and pa operators, folks that, that were enthusiasts, not necessarily business people. And I remember one of our locations in Denver, you know, um, I had to put together a plan. We went in and we bought back the franchise from those folks. And I had a CapEx budget, same, exactly, everything was the same, right? So we measure EBITDA in the business world, measure NOI in the multifamily world, but they're the same. And this particular property was running at about 32% EBITDA. And our goal was 42. And in 18 months, I managed to get it to 46. Yeah, awesome. And it's the same concept, right? Increasing the value. Um, so you, and then when iFly got bought out, right, we increased the value. We sold it for a multiple of the value. Yeah. You increase the value, increase the revenue, increase your, your NOI, and uh, which basically gets your, your valuation, yeah. especially on real estate. So, uh, no, excellent, man. I, I'm curious, like, I would like to see some people in the chat, if you guys... Put in the chat, like how many people can relate to the Trevor's initial uh, voyage in multifamily? Like, hey, I'm tr I've am i been, uh, you know, I had some struggles. I spent uh, six months or a year trying to get uh, my, you know, my first deal. Uh, it'd be interesting to see and, and also hear from some other people's uh experiences or questions that they may have related to to that you know who's got 
anything they'd like to share along the lines as far as breaking into the multifamily? Nobody. Brenda, tell your story. Brenda's story is fascinating. Oh, man, it's, it's like you mentioned, it's all about a team. I constantly like, you know, we all believe I could do it by myself. Why need a team if I can get all the cash for myself? I mean, that's what they say in these mentorships, like do it by yourself. And if you have all your life to do it, then go ahead and do it by yourself. But why wait that many years if you can do it with a team? Um, So that's how I got started, you know. I wanted to find my team and not everybody's always as passionate as you. I found that out very fast that it's all about finding people that are in the same like-minded like you. And so that's how I met Massive, that they were all passionate. Everybody has, it's like a puzzle piece, you know, everybody has a piece, but at the end of the day, it all connects. So even though it's, it's a struggle, it's all about who you connect with and like I said, I paid for a mentorship and I don't regret it because it taught me that not all mentorships give you the good stuff. It's about the mentorship that gets you to the next level. And I felt like I've found it here at Massive. And now I work with amazing partners that have my back and I have their backs. And why not be in a team that can help you out? So I'm going to I'm going to brag a little bit on Brenda. <laughs> all right. So so. I met Brenda and I forgot her. Okay. I don't know how I could forget her. because She's got such a beautiful smile, but I did. She contacted me, said, could I meet with her? So I made her drive all the way out to where I live to meet at a coffee shop. She got in an accident, still got here, got another vehicle, got here. And I met her and I thought, wow, what a little dynamo. So we started hanging out and started inviting her to different things. Um, and then I remember there was a bunch of our ladies that had written a book. And so I said to Brenda, would you like to just come up to Dallas and hang out? I'm going to just drive up. I'm going only to be there to support all of my friends. She said, sure, I'll be there. Next thing you know, she says, I'm staying. I'm in the next book. I'll take the bus home. See you later. And anyways, and then I remember phoning Mike saying, we need to get this lady on our team somehow. And, you know, I just said, and again, it's you find your people, right? You find your people, you bring them into an environment that is inspiring and lifting and, and together we can achieve things. So um, she is now a famous author. Um, I made her make a bunch of videos and I had my VA post them and stuff, but uh, again, it's pretty cool, right? And, and again, I didn't start this till I was 58. She's a little bit younger than me. Can you imagine where she'll be when we're doing the massive capital webinar on her near her 65th birthday? She'll be saying, I'm on my 250th deal. And Mike and Trevor are hobbling around wondering where I am. But think about it. It's true. I believe it with all of my heart. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So, hey, I was just going to thank uh, Trevor and Brenda. We'll bring up maybe, you know, who we'll see who else wants to talk, maybe share, Celtic, maybe. I wanted to relate, just see. So I know Cash, you're a bit interested. Uh, so, yeah, the first one I shared, the link I shared was to the two-day event. Uh, I just shared a link, which is the... Uh, multifamily.education link and that will be uh, the um, oh shoot August the 23rd and 24th no no I was trying to oh here it was not let me share my screen So the, that second link I shared will bring you into the, the page here, which is the, the whole education. You can see the mastermind uh, bits in here as well. And and what's in, what all is kind of with that. You can schedule a, a call, um, schedule a call with Brenda or me, and uh, we'll follow up with you and and get you, get you the information you need uh, for that. 
and uh, any any so if there's what other any other questions for anyone yet and and, uh, and I do do have a little oh. bit more. I just didn't want to go too long on the sharing, but I want to talk just a yeah. little bit more here, if that's all right with the group. No, please, Trevor. I mean, that's uh, I think, so. Yeah. One of the things I want to talk about, and you asked me about quitting and doing things, right? So one of the things that uh, I always say, if you if you follow me on social media, you know that I massive actions is what I talk about, right? And so. One of the things that I do, make sure that I get out there and connect with people, right? So I take massive action. So I've posted over a thousand posts aiming to inspire people. I have created 75 videos on my YouTube channel. There's probably a few more now because I've been doing shorts. I have a Facebook group. Massive Capital has a Facebook group. I'm always inviting people. And we allow people to post educational content on there. This was last year. I've done 48 of these educational webinars. We're getting close to doubling that number where we've done a lot. And again, I'm not rarely the presenter. I'm mostly on the host side, but uh, try to come up with it. I've been part of 25. Actually, this now is probably 45 deal webinars. I need to update my slides. Um, we do a lot of deal webinars. I've been a podcast guest on 35. I presented at other people's webinars. Um, I like to make funny graphics. So anybody who follows me will see that financial freedom is calling you. So again, part of this journey is taking massive action, making sure that you're getting out there. And I see Jasmine's now. Jasmine's always working, by the way. And so I'm going to tell another story about Jasmine. So I was thinking, do I want to join Massive Capital or not? And I thought real hard. And she was on Alex Lovelace webinar and I went there and her story about how she just walked up to Mike and said, what can I do for you versus what everybody else asked? What can, what can you do for me? And talked about her story and her journey. So she, she could easily be the same here. Um, but I was so touched. I said, this, these are the people that I want to be around, right? And so again, it may not be massive capital. Again, everybody has a given group. I think it could be for everybody, but find people to do great things together is really the message tonight. Um, I'm hoping in five years when I'm doing this webinar, it's well over a hundred deals. Um, and uh, you know, that that's my goal. I forgot to launch a poll. Thanks, Trevor. Yeah, I forgot to launch a poll and just see what kind of feedback we get there as well. And a simple two two question poll, like how many masterminds are you guys in? It's be it's kind of cool to see and know. Um, I'm I'm I know I think Trevor, you're you're primarily in one. I've been in four two. total though. Four. Okay, two. Now you're currently. Two between two. massive and and big dogs, and uh, so for me, yeah, it's uh, like six. Um, and I think there's a, I don't know if there's like a a limit to like how many is too much, but it's it's a matter of like that whole circling yourself with the people, you know, that want to be doing it and uh, getting in the mix um, immediately. Um. And we have one tonight. I know we they're they're in the process of just starting their onboarding. Cody and uh, Jackie uh, just joined us, so they'll be they'll be showing up uh, as regulars uh, going forward uh, as well. So congratulations to them. And we've got uh, and Natasha. We hope to see you next week in Houston. I'll send you the links. We've got a meetup on Thursday night and a dinner on Friday night. If for anyone who doesn't know Natasha, just look for the best looking woman walking into a restaurant, best dressed woman, pardon me. She's good looking too. Uh, walking into a restaurant and there's Natasha. I was, yeah, Natasha, we're looking forward to Very stylish. You all are so kind. Thank uh -huh. you. Next week, I'll be out of town. Oh, I wish man. I was getting in town next week i'll be out of town one of my friends i'm her bridesmaid so i have to oh, go do wow. bridesmaid things yes awesome. 
Otherwise, I would definitely be there for everything. Yeah. I know, hopefully, Moni, you'll be able to join us on some of that. You're in Houston now. She moved from Austin to Houston. Excellent. Excellent. Kazi, thanks for coming tonight. Thank you, Michael. Appreciate it. And uh, Trevor yeah. is Trevor is yeah. part of Trevor's your uh, Canadian uh, brethren as well. There you go, Trevor. So, yep. what part of Canada? Niagara Falls. Niagara Falls. Okay, I'm from Kingston, Ontario. Oh, we're almost neighbors. There you go. And uh, as we're speaking, my wife and my two sons they're in Houston, enjoying the time they're coming back. And I was there a couple months ago. Okay. Yeah, looking forward to meet you in person. I met uh, Michael at uh, uh, Robert's place, you know, for uh, the mastermind session. Okay. So, awesome. in Rockstar Capital. And uh, I wish I could be there in Houston to meet you guys in person. Uh, fortunately, I got a few things tied up. So, other than that, yeah, it's a, it's a great to know about uh, what you guys do. And um, I had great... Um, uh, get to know Michael uh, very closely over the past couple months or so. So it's been always a pleasure to meeting Michael and uh, hope to see your team members someday. Awesome. Welcome. Yeah, and yeah, thank and Victoria, thank you for coming out tonight. Yes, I met her last night and she's already on a webinar. So she awesome. was at an event with uh, Vera and Bob. I was at their meetup in Dallas. Welcome. We're gonna get Faisal down from New Jersey to he's gonna get to we're gonna get him back over into Houston, man. Come on. When are you coming? I used to go there a lot. My sister used to live there in Katy. Yeah. Florida though, so I haven't been there in a while. Come on back, man. Come spend the next weekend with us. Yeah, unfortunately I can't, otherwise I would. <laughs> We'll get I you back. tell you, everybody in New Jersey, when I opened the tunnel there in Paramus, honked at me everywhere I went. I I, I don't know what was what, why they didn't like me, but I got honked at a lot in New Jersey. I it was crazy. Oh no, New Jersey people are wild driving. When I when I went to New York, we rented a car, and the guy, one of the guys, uh said, are you driving? And we're like, yes, like, you're wild, like, you're brave. Yeah. He said, like, only New only people from New Jersey drives here and New York. Well, all of the on-ramps are, like, 12 feet long, and there's a bridge wall at the end of 12 feet. It's like, ah, <laughs> do I go? Do I not go? If I don't go, the guy behind me honks. If I go, the guy in the highway honks. It's like, I can't win. Yeah, it's an art form to drive here. <laughs> mm -hmm. yeah because i opened one up in westchester and had no trouble up in the yonkers area on the new york side which i thought it would that was where it would be but so excellent great job tonight trevor your story is like uh, so inspiring for me and others and uh, i appreciate you sharing the story like the you know, it's it's tough sometimes sharing like the those those beginning parts and uh, but but that's important in the message for a lot of people to not like one is not give up, two is like you know see you know how fast you can grow once once things click right it's 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 a and it's a big momentum right there's a there's a lot of momentum that goes and. Sometimes we even run into the walls and we got to, you know, there's a, a, the, uh, with Cardone and them, Brandon Dawson talks in a business sense, like you got to, you know, there's these barriers, you keep hitting a different barrier in these different levels, right? Yeah. And you got to break through them and um, we all hit those and, and we got to just keep persevering and, and break through those, those next uh barriers and, and move up to the next level and i mean sometimes that means i gotta hire more people bigger team put in some new systems whatever is that break point to that next level so uh, yeah and and don't underestimate the power of the systems um 
everyone knows that I'm the slowest adapter, but once you master them, so powerful, so powerful. Um, it, it's it's just the, the tools you need are amazing. Selcha, you can tell us how much you're loving us. I'm only kidding. <laughs> it's good to see you. Oh, no, He's part of our that. group. I've uh, been to Houston oh, yeah, a couple of yeah. times for events. and Yeah, yeah. yeah. Well, no, no, I truly love you guys. Uh, I told my story a couple of times. I didn't want to repeat it, but since you asked. So yeah. <laughs> real quick, a couple of minutes left. Uh, again, just uh, this business, really, I, I'm, I'm just going to repeat it, but the, the team sport. I mean, other, without a team, you cannot really do anything. I've tried that like a three years I started like 2021, really interested in this uh, multifamily side of business. You know, back in the day, I'm, I was in the real estate, in and out and all that. I started attending the summits and, you know, seminars and sections. That's where I met Mike back in 2021. And, but like uh, up until last, last, last year, I was trying to do something that team, sometimes you, you, you think you find a deal, you work on the, the you, you work on it and you do underwriting, but the other piece is missing, right? You have to have a key person, you have to have like a debt, you know, issues and all that stuff. And you're just kind of dealing with the different part of the deal and every time. And I, you know, joined like a three or four different masterminds. They're all just like a training, educating you, training you. You do go out and do yourself. We're just come back us, come back to us and ask how to do it and all that stuff. Well, when Massive started this program, this is just like a really one, you know, uh, one stop shop. Really, it's not just like I'm, I'm not getting paid to say this, guys. Okay, and I pay for it, and this is where you really get yourself in the in the stuff because. Uh, you know, uh, the, the beauty of it is we're learning and we're doing as they do it and as they buy and as they underwriting. And after a while, and I started doing like a real team. And it just like a really, the team is kind of getting grow and grow. And within, then, t within that team, well, with the students and you start to talk and the and other ideas just start to get them popped up, right? So like, just like Mike said all the time, say you don't have to do the deals with us all the time. Just to go out and do your deal with your, your you know, uh, the friends and this team too. But we, we don't have to do this this way all the time. We don't have to do this by ourselves. It's just kind of back and forth. There's a tons of deals to do out there. As, as you come together and always, always you have, you need to ask something to somebody anyway. So there's no not, nothing like I know or he knows or she knows better, best. And but with this, I really truly did, did find the you know everything in one package. So I'm really happy, you know. Well, I'll keep working and dealing with the with the massive team, and just hopefully I'm gonna grow. Hopefully I'm gonna I'm saying I will grow. We will grow. I know. Massive. And as long as we keep our health, you know, uh, up and all that, so I'm I'm really happy. I'm 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 with them every single morning. It's like a full time job for me. <laughs> yeah, that's what I can say. It's awesome, but but it's only full. It's 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 a uh, you're there because you want to be, not because you the we make you be there though. You you. You want to be there because you, you you don't want to miss out. Yeah, no, no. Well, that's what you told me when I when I talked to you like a seven eight months ago on the phone. When you say this is like a program, but you said to me this is a commitment. Yes, right? this is the commitment. Yes. Say so this just this is like a pay membership or a mastermind, and you're telling me hey, this is a commitment. If you don't commit, don't start. And I always committed person. I. I came to this country 30 years ago, started from scratch. That was a commitment. Along the way, I, I made like a few commitments. 
and still keep commitment. Definition, yeah. definition of the commitment, really, we have to remind ourselves daily basis. It just commitment, it takes some effort, really. And but that's what this, you know, the you know, program about. And but after that, when you get into that, it just like a, becomes like a nature of the doing business. It's just like a and then when you meet your team members and all that stuff, and then it opens up some other opportunities for you too. Because really in, in team, there's a really, really talented you know, the fellas and the, you know, the, the, the ladies too. We will learn from each other. When we do underwriting, like a 10, 12, 15 of us with underwriting at the same time. And if one of us misses something and the other one is catches and all that stuff, it all comes together. But overall, it's a commitment. That's true. That's awesome, man. I, I appreciate that. And that that's, Unbelievable. Really appreciate that, Selchuk. And and you are you, and that's like what I see. Like everybody with that's with us, there is a heavy commitment. And one of the other things for Selchuk, Selchuk is also uh we actually have uh, besides Brenda, Trevor shared about Brenda's book, Jasmine's in the book, a different one. Uh Selchuk and Rodolfo, two of our masters, uh, are also they have their own book. And congratulations yes. on that, Selchuk. Yeah, we wrote a, like a one chapter. There's like a 12 chapters in it, like Immigrant Man, it's yeah. called. We just like a made or yeah, but, wrote, wrote, wrote our stories like a within a couple Yeah, but you're in, there with, you're in there with like some big, big dudes like Patrick, David Bett, right? Yeah, yeah. He, you, he, great. He, you guys are in there together, same book. So exactly. I mean, you're, you're in some exactly. good company. Yeah, yeah, we do. We do. Yeah, and I, I really like it. Yeah. He's he's already a successful guy. Yeah. Yep. Yeah, that's right. Thank you. Thank you. Well, awesome. Trevor, take us out, man. What do you got to close us out with? So come back. Prayer. Next. You want to close out with prayer or meditation or <laughs> you gotta come back next week. Bring a friend. We're gonna be talking about capital raising. And what do you need to do? Who wants to raise capital? Everybody. Yeah. I see, can't I buy, see a lot of... can't buy anything without capital. Yeah. Who doesn't need money for the deals, right? I wish it was not me. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, and we're gonna talk a little bit about creating a brand to attract your investors, um, changing the message from invest with me to an opportunity for financial freedom. Uh, so we're going to talk all a little bit more on the, you know, and, and it's partly got inspired to do it because Mike's been challenging a lot of folks in our mastermind. And I thought, you know, this really could be a really good topic, right? About, you know, consistency in posting and consistency in getting educational material out there, content out there, um, you know, and then consistently supporting each other. So when someone posts something, you add value to their post. Um, Gary V talks about spending two bucks a day. I can't spend as much money as him. I spend about 20 cents a day. And that's where I put my two cents worth of value on somebody else's post. So it means I've got at least comment, a meaningful comment on at least 10 posts a day. I do it on Facebook and, 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 uh, and LinkedIn um, just to try to add value. Um, but some of those things, people don't think about the importance of it for everyone, right? In general, especially on our team now, we've started supporting each other on our posts. And I've seen I've seen people's uh, profiles grow and grow and grow. I'm trying to catch up to Mike. I thought I had a lot of LinkedIn connections. And then I, you know, compared myself. I don't know how I'm ever going to catch up to you on uh, Instagram. I don't know what you've been doing, but... Uh, <laughs> And I saw, him. yeah, it's not a comparison game though, Trevor. It's like uh, we just we just gotta go and we just do what we do, right? And the uh, we all we all have like certain pieces and niches and yeah. And no, but, uh, but the biggest piece, like you said, inspire you. Consistency, consistency, consistency. Yeah. Well, go ahead, Trevor. Awesome.
Well, I appreciate everybody showing up tonight. We're actually finishing on time. I either did something right or wrong. No, this was that you did everything perfect. This was awesome. Uh, excellent, excellent. A reminder to everyone, and I think it's here. The YouTube channel is there in the chat. Um, sign up for the you know get the YouTube um, on that YouTube channel. Subscribe. You get all of these recordings plus a note, a, a bunch of other recordings that we do. Uh, including some releases of some of our masterclass episodes uh, that on go that go on, and our uh, Monday massive partners call, which uh, is all about what's happening in the market, what are the deals we're doing, and what's going down. Awesome. Well, thank you everybody for showing up. Really appreciate it. Enjoy your evening. And uh, we will see you all next Wednesday. And some of you will see in Houston next week. We'll see y'all soon. Take care. Thank, thanks, everyone. Thank you. Have a good, okay, night. good night. Bye. Let me stop. Did I stop recording? No. Oh, my God.